When I was 10, I got arrowed to take part in an inter-class storytelling competition. I still don't know what possessed that teacher to choose me. I had never done anything like that before and I had no idea how to do it. Before the actual competition, she made me practice in front of the whole class. It was pure torture. I couldn't decide on what story to tell. So every practice, I kept changing the story. Even up till the last rehearsal, I still hadn't settled on a story. I was going to make a fool of myself. Or even worse, bore the audience to death. On the night before the competition, I turned the house upside down, desperately trying to find a story, any story to memorize in time for the competition. I was a basket case. Then Dad stepped in. Cher, how about we try something different? Okay, what stories do you know? Think of a story you know really well and just tell it. Hmm. What did I love? Cartoons lah! Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry, Chip and Dale, Donald Duck. But my absolute favourite was Woody Woodpecker. I remembered one episode that was a spoof of Jack and the Beanstalk. So I just told Dad that story in my own way. Mimicking the voices, painting pictures of the story that I saw unfolding in my head, bringing those characters to life. On the day of the competition, I remember stepping on that humongous, empty, dark brown stage, feeling so tiny, far too nervous to even look at the audience. I started okay, but halfway through, I suddenly broke out into laughing fits. Twice! I desperately wanted to stop, but it seemed as if I had no control over myself. Then, I noticed the audience actually laughing along with me. Even the three judges looked mildly amused. Somehow, I managed to pick up where I left off. The more I got into the story, the more I realised that people enjoyed it. And they stayed with me all the way until my last line. And poor Mrs. Minnie was stuck up there in the beanstalk. Thank you! With that, I ran off stage, so relieved it was over. But I never forgot that moment. That instant I realised when I was brave enough to make a story my own, it had the power to touch people and make them respond. I've gone on to share more stories, some as light-hearted as the first story I told, others heavy, under the weight of my own tears. I am a storyteller, but discovering my own unique voice continues to be a journey of capturing my own narratives and sharing it with the world as an invitation to laugh a little harder, hope a little deeper, and live a little braver. <laughs> By the way, I won the competition. <laughs> <laughs>